Thanks for staying with us. Taking a live look outside on the CorwinAuto.com Valley Skycam. Lots of sunshine. That's helping us warm on up. It's still on the cold side out there, but certainly much better than it was early this morning. Now up to 9 degrees. It feels more like minus 4. Winds out of the south and southwest at around 9 miles per hour. We'll continue out of the southwest direction around 5 to 15 miles per hour as we head through the rest of the day. 10 in Jamestown. 13 up in Grand Forks. 10 in Detroit Lakes and Bemidji. 7 in Roseau. You factor in those light winds and yeah, it's taken the edge off of those temperatures, but still not bad compared to this morning. Minus 6, your wind chill up in the Devil's Lake area. Minus 10 in Thiefer Falls, 0 in Bidette, minus 9 in Roseau. On the radar, nothing doing in terms of precipitation. Lots of sunshine out there, hardly a cloud in the sky, and that's what we're going to see as we head through the rest of the day. Chance for a few flurries as we head through the afternoon and the evening hours on your Saturday. Most of the northern plains quiet right now and again anticipated to remain quiet outside of that chance for a few flurries late tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. Across the national map, some rain and high mountain snow in the Pacific Northwest, a little bit of rain and snow in the desert southwest and once again the southern plains dealing with some awful weather. The Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, they've seen several inches of snow in this area. Traffic, a virtual standstill, traffic accidents everywhere across the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex as they deal once again with some snow and it doesn't get any better tonight. It looks like that snow is going to change on over to some freezing drizzle. For us, we're going to continue to enjoy plenty of sunshine and some less cold air as we head through this afternoon and into this evening, getting up into the low and middle teens across the region. And then tonight, things are going to drop on down into the single digits, so not as frigid as we've seen over the past couple of nights. Now, keep in mind, we will have some light winds around, so as we get down to some colder temperatures, we'll see those wind chills drop down to oh, anywhere from 5 to 15 degrees below zero. We'll see a few clouds during the overnight hours, some light winds, and then as we start off the day tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, but that's going to give way to some increasing clouds as a weak system starts to move across the area, but we're also going to see some mild temperatures warming into the 20s across the region, and as this system makes its way across the area, you can't rule out an isolated light flurry or two as we head through tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Not going to amount to very much at all, but don't be surprised to see a few flakes falling from the sky. Today, getting into the lower teens. Tomorrow, some lower 20s, and it gets even better than that, warming on up into the mid-20s as we head through your Sunday, around 30 on Monday. Then another system starts to move into the area on Tuesday. That will bring in some colder weather and a chance for some snow. Could see some light accumulations with that system. Behind that, return to colder air once again, but does not look as cold as what we're just seeing over the past few days. Well, at least it's going to feel really warm because lately when I've been waking up and it says minus 10, minus 18. Yeah, only one minus sign on there and that's not I until like next that. Thursday morning. Well, thank you for that, You're Robert. Welcome. <laughs>